Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. And we're back and we're still talking about sleep disorders, especially sleep apnea. Dr. Mustafa, we were talking about a person who would even fall asleep while working or driving or walking. This, yes. this could cause a, a major catastrophe. I mean, this is, uh, this is really serious. It's not just feeling tired from not sleeping well by night. This could uh, could could lead to a, a real problem. Yes, it's a major problem and a catastrophic problem. Yes, because this patient we, who complain of obstructive sleep apnea, uh, it's one of the cause of the. Most yes, and uh, he, he doesn't uh, he doesn't know that he fall asleep. He is a car accident occur uh, while he's sleeping. Yes, and it's one of the most common causes. Uh, and more car accident in Egypt and all over the world. So, what other complications that could happen from this uh, sleep apnea problem? As we said before, uh, uh, some sort of hypoxia or decreasing in blood oxygenation, which occur during sleep, mm -hmm. uh, causes the changes in the blood vessels, especially coronary blood vessels, which yeah. are responsible for supplying the blood to the heart. Yes and it's a major cause of cardiac attack yeah. you know it's cardiac attack is more in in patient is this with pro, uh, with uh, obstructive sleep apnea mm -hmm. because there is pathological change and causes atherosclerosis mm -hmm. atherosclerosis stiffness of the wall of the arteries yes in the coronary and the attacks this attacks of coronary may cause deaths that's true if it's not treated properly exactly yes and the same pathological change which occur in the coronary occur also in the carotid arteries which are responsible for blood supply to the brain and cause what's called transient ischemic attack or stroke. Yes, that's true. And it's a major problem and one of, of the most common cause also of stroke is obstructive sleep apnea. It definitely is. Second, on pulmonary blood, uh, pulmonary blood vessels may cause increase in the pressure in the pulmonary artery and which is called pulmonary hypertension, which mm -hmm. causes dyspnea. Yes. Dyspnea or shortness of breath. Shortness breath, yes. The, the person cannot breathe uh, yeah. at ease. Yes. Another issue is change in the blood composition of increasing platelet account, which is responsible for coagulation of the blood or increasing blood, uh, blood uh, fibrogen level, which is responsible also in decreasing the viscosity of the blood. We have a multi, multi, multiple researches about this issue, and we found there is increased platelet, increased mm -hmm. fibrogen level, which causes stroke or causing cardiac attack. Mm -hmm. uh, another issue uh, is in external enuresis, which has a psychological problem to the patient. Because True. it's uh, it's psychologically unacceptable. Of course, a uh, patient doesn't get comfortable sleep. He will awaken in the morning, feel depressed, psychologically upset, confusion, depression. Of course, yes. Uh, and this is a major problem to them. Mm -hmm. All of this is a complication of obstructive sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. So, should be measured probably. And it, it's a simple measure, simple, it can be measured simply, inshallah. Inshallah. So, so when, when somebody comes uh, with, uh, with treating sleep apnea, is not, or she's not just treating sleep apnea, they're also avoiding even more or major uh, complications and uh, problems that they would face True. or might face if they don't treat the, the sleep apnea. So, yeah. it, w w when, you, when you diagnose the sleep apnea, what investigations that you would do to 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 make sure the uh, the this is the real diagnosis and to to be able to to differentiate the causes of uh, of the sleep apnea. Okay, first, uh, as we said, uh, from the symptoms and the signs, we can diagnose bronchial uh, diagnosis of sleep apnea, but the key items in the investigation of sleep apnea is uh, doing what's called polysomnography. Polysomnography, that's yes. in other words, in the simplified. It's a simple device which we patient, we can measure everything which happened, which, which can, or can happen in the, during sleep. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we can measure the sleep stages of the sleep by drawing what's called electroectrograph, a EEG. Yes. We measure the changes in the heart by ECG, yes. electrocardiogram. Yes. We monitor blood pressure during sleep, pulse changes for heart rate, mm -hmm. and for sleep we, me we, we measure what's called apnea. Well, as we said, it's, it's a cessation of breathing by measuring the flow in the uh, during sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the, we measure the uh, movement of the muscles and you can measure also an, a, a lot of things. Yes. The most important uh, oxygen desaturation, we measure the oxygen level. Yes. Uh, and we, uh, we can calculate what's happening during oxygen in the blood if it is severe or uh, it's a mild case of hypoxia or severe hypoxia. All of this uh, the patient come to us in what's called sleep lab. Yes. Uh, we connect uh, them or, or connect him to the device mm -hmm. and sleep in the lab for one night. Yes. And in the morning, we measure all of the record in the computer, uh, analysis of all this data from which we can diagnose sleep, obstructive sleep apnea. So you diagnose the changes and you also diagnose the cause of the of the sleep apnea as well yes we can from this polysomnography we can differentiate it it is obstructive sleep apnea secondary to causes of obstruction for our airway or it is a central sleep apnea from the brain mm -hmm. and there is no obstruction yes we can differentiate from uh, polysomnography i'm sure our viewers are very anxious to know how would you treat the sleep apnea yes First instruction, general measurement. Of it. We, uh, most of these patients of, with obstructive sleep apnea are OPs. Mm -hmm. That's true. OPs. Uh, uh, we measure body mass index by obesity. By definition, it's a body mass index more than 27. Uh, first, to tell him and instruct him to decrease her weight by diet therapy yes. or exercise. Yes. Decrease weight, decreasing weight is the main line of treatment. Mm -hmm. Second, is surgical correction if it is if there is a cause for obstruction if there is division of the nasal septum or if if there is hypertrophy of the tonsil yes. or adenoid we refer him to ENT consultant for surgical correction and we now we are using laser for treatment of the hypertrophy of the soft palate and it could be a small surgery that can, sp can spare a big problem or yes, a series of big problems. from a big problem and the uh, complication, protect from complication. Yes, well. Uh, after general treatment, the main line of treatment of obstructive sleep apnea, uh, device also, we, uh, we give him a device what's called CBAP. And I have a small video here we can see yes, please. how CBAP can act. Mm -hmm. As you see in the video, the flow of the air, either from the nose mm -hmm. or from the mouth, through obstructed airway, and now we will connect him to the device, as you see, what's called CPAP. Yes. This device, CPAP, is, uh, is a pressure. It is a pressure system. Mm -hmm. It will open the obstructed airway, as we can see now, yes. by the pressure. It will open the soft palate and allow the air to pass. Uh -huh. uh, this... Yes. CPAP is, uh, we have two types of CPAP, uh, either it's uh, connected to the nose, it's called what, nasal CPAP, or mouse, or through mouse DPAP. Uh, we determine the pressure uh, which needed to open the, uh, up, uh, the upper airway by du during the uh, split night. Mm -hmm. We uh, patient come during the night, Yes. Uh, well, we diagnose bronchial, uh, diagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea, and adjust yes. adjust a pressure the adjusted pressure uh -huh. which go uh, which open the upper airway yes as we see there it goes the yes uh -huh. mm -hmm. there will be this obstructed airway now and we'll connect him mm -hmm. to the device again mm -hmm. we determine the pressure which opens the airway during during night by connecting him while during sleep mm -hmm. simply the air now is passing okay okay this, uh, this device, another type of uh, we pressure the, which allow uh, breathing, it's called BiPAP. Give him breathing during inspiratory and during expiratory. Uh, with decreasing the weight, uh, the problem will be solved, inshallah. So this machine would stay with the patient for how long? 
uh, as long as he complain of sleep apnea, he he will relax for the machine and he will accommodate for that because he will get his comfortable sleep. He will love it. But sleeping with a machine is uh, is some yes, sort of a in the beginning. Yeah. In the beginning, it's a difficult process to have a machine on your nose while during sleep. But uh, if you uh, after complaining of fatigue, or complaining of symptoms uh, of sleep apnea, but after using this machine, he will ask to, to continue with this machine comfortable sleep. Yes, he'll be waking up uh, more fresh and uh, much uh, much happier than he used to be. And of course, yes. his partner or the family would uh, would have less noise. Uh, this this helped with the snoring problem. Uh, mostly, mostly. mostly so improve the, it's not just uh, the patient, but also everybody around him is, uh, yes, yes. is getting uh, a better chance of good sleep. Comfortable sleep is the main issue. Yes, Dr. Mustafa Shauqi, consultant of pulmonary disease, Ain Shams University. Thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank uh, you, Dr. brothers and sisters. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope it was useful to you. Um, inshallah until next episode please write to us our email is health at huda.tv and of course our website is huda.tv until next time wish you health